In nomine Patris, Fili, Spiritus, Sancti. Bless me, Father, for I am sin. How long has it been since your last confession? It's been almost five months, Father. I am a loving Father, and my children are well taken care of. I sense emptiness, my child. Is there something that you desire? No. I have a lot of money. Hell, I can buy this church and the whole block if I wanted to. Then why are we here? Because I have questions. I seek understanding. Then you have come to the right place, my child. This is the house of God. It's a place of completeness. And a place of fullness. You speak about completeness, Father. Are you complete? We're here to focus on you. But you haven't answered my question. We have all sinned and have short supplied the glory of the Father in us. But by the Son we are made whole. So I only need the Son, but not the Father. <laughs> no, my child. You need them both. The Son and the Father are one. And the Son makes the glory of the Father complete in me? Yes. So, why are we here? For your confession? You see, if we confess our sins, the Father is just and will grant forgiveness. Let's just say I gave in to the sin of lust. There was a woman? No. I would never do that to my wife. Was it a man then? God forbid. Hmm. Did I say something wrong? No. So you know what God forbids or not? Yes, of course. Are you God? I know things he forbids in his word. Is this not why you are here, Father? To dish out God's instructions and judgment? I'm an instrument, yes. You will grant me pardon for my sin. After you're done confessing, yes? Are you God? Is the pardon in yours to give? We're here for my confession, are we not? Yes, we are. Is it wrong to have desires? It isn't. God himself put desires in man. It is what we do with the desires that counts as sin. Have you ever desired a thing? Something you know you can't have, but you wouldn't mind to go an extra mile to get it? Yes. Is that not lost? Yes, it is. So you've sinned then? Yes, I have. Did you confess? That's not important. What is important then? Your confession and pardon. Who granted your pardon? God. So, why are we here? For your confession. I once caught my wife chatting with her ex. I was very angry. But I didn't, I didn't say anything. Do you know why? No. Let's just say you're thirsty and you see a man with water. Water that you should be drinking. And there he was, washing his feet with it. What do you suppose you will do? Well, I understand we all have desires, but it's what we do with those desires that counts as sin or not. This man and his family had something I could only wish I had. It is something I longed for in my family, but I know it's not mine to have. I believe that is covetousness. Longing for what another man has that you don't have yourself. Yes, it is. So, I have now committed two grave sins. But you have not stated that which you wanted so deeply from the family, that which led you to sin. God is all-knowing, is he not? Yes, he is. And he knows the ending of a thing before it begins. Yes, he does. And he knows my sin even before I committed it. I believe so, yes. So why am I here? I don't know, my son. You tell me. What I saw that this family had was the personification of love. This was something I knew could never be mine, but yet I desired it. It was an aura, an aura, not money or any other material thing could, uh, could have built such. Even time is hard to explain, Father. I see. That was the water I so desperately wanted to have. I felt like having this man's wife. If only I would have a taste of this love. 
We're all plagued by one thing in human existence. And it's when we give in to this that we have truly damned ourselves. Have I been damned that I can't have forgiveness? No, my child. The love of the Father is always here for you, no matter how far you go astray. As a sign of your contrition, say seven Our Fathers and twelve Hail Marys. And for your penance, find some charity work in your community and perform. And if I do that, I'll be justified by this act and completely absorbed of my sins? Absolutely, yes, my child. If that would be all, I guess we can... There's another thing I would like us to address since we're here. Okay, go on then. For a while now, I notice a Cherie around me everywhere I go. And it feels like I've been defrauded of my Christian heritage. I look deeply and notice an idea I was trying to defend was being used to levy accusations against me. Are you truly who you say that you are? I am who I am and I have endured great pain. Sir, what are you trying to say? You need to come out in clarity so that whatever it is that has been troubling your heart could be resolved by the Spirit of the Father. Sir, are you there? Sir. 